reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson on the remainder theorem. In today's lesson, we are going to find the remainder if 2x cubed plus 8x squared plus 6x minus 5 is divided by 2x minus 1. So we are supposed to find the remainder. And the approach to this question, I'm going to divide it into two parts. The first part will include will involve a longer method which involves the longer division. It is important for you to also understand the long division. And then I'm going to show you the short version of this uh, of solving this problem. Now let us look by using the long division. We are saying 2x minus 1 is dividing 2x cubed plus 8x squared plus 6x minus a 5. So that's what we're having. And then how do you go about doing the long division? When we are doing the long division, what you're simply doing is you're saying 2x into 2x cubed. So it's as good as saying 2x cubed divided by the 2x and when you cancel you are going to be left with a square so in this case you are going to have x squared on top and then after that you are going to multiply x squared you are going to multiply if I can write it again you are going to take x squared and multiply it by 2x minus 1. So this is what you're doing, whereby the x squared will multiply and the x squared will multiply. So that's what we'll be doing. So in this case, the x squared will multiply 2x and the x squared will multiply the 1. So what are you going to have? We are going to have 2x cubed minus x squared so it's 2x cubed minus x squared and then you rule off we're going to subtract when we're subtracting it will be 2x cubed minus 2x cubed you'll get a 0 and it will be 8x squared minus minus x squared so because of the two negatives they become a positive so it's 8, 8x squared plus this become a plus so 8x squared plus x squared so what you're going to get is 9x squared and then you're going to bring down the positive 6x and then you repeat the same step again you're going to say 2x into 9x squared in other ways you have got 9x squared being divided again by 2x so when you can when the 9x squared divided by 2x when you cancel you are going to have a 4 comma 5 x so the x will cancel to remain with an x so basically that's what you'll be having or a 9 over 2 so in here I'm going to have a plus 4.5 or 9 over 2 x and now the same 4.5 will multiply the 2x minus 1 in which case you are going to get 4.5 times 2x you are going to get 9x squared and 4.5 times minus 1 you are going to get a negative 4.5x and then you are going to roll off again and subtract so we are repeating the same step in this case now you are going to have a 0 
So 6 minus minus 4.5x, the negative and the negative make it a positive. So it is going to be 10.5. So you have a 10.5x. And then you bring down again the negative 5. So now you are going to have a minus 5. I can get more space. If this one continues, you are now going to have 2x into 10,5x. You are going to have a plus. So if I can take 10.5x and I divide it by 2x, you can see that the x will cancel. Then you are going to have 10.5 divided by 2. If I can take a calculator and say 10.5 divided by 2, I'm getting a 21.4, which is a 5.25. So if I can use my 5.25 here, it's 5.25. If I multiply 5.25 by that, I'm going to get 10.5 x. And then minus, if I multiply that, I'm going to get a 5. 0.25 if I rule off then I subtract again 10.5x minus 10.5x will give me a 0 and then minus 5 minus minus which will become a, a plus so it's minus 5 plus 5.25 if I take a calculator again which is negative 5 plus 5.25 I'm getting a 1 over 4 or a 0 0.25 so I'm going to get a positive 0 0.25 so now this is the division that you get and then when you have solved it now this 0 0.25 is called the remainder So now the question is said, find the remainder if this is divided by that. So the remainder in this case is 0 0.25. So that's how you solve this problem. But as I mentioned, there is a quicker way of doing it. If I can open a box here, there is a shorter version of doing it. Um, I'll write it as short method. So this one that we're using here, you can see that it's long division. It is a long method. But it is important for you to master it because it helps you to understand how it is flowing. So now if we're using the short method, we're going to say let f of x be equal to 2x cubed plus 8x squared plus 6x minus 5 and then we're going to take our 2x minus 1 remember the set is divided by 2x minus 1 so you take say 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 you equate it to 0 and then you solve for x whereby you say 2x is equal to 1 you divide by 2 you divide by 2 and you have got x is equal to 1 over 2 so now this is the value of x so now what you are going to do with this value of x I'm going to take my pen up with this value of x I'm going to have now my f of x I'm continuing remember my f of x was 2x cubed, if I can write it again, plus 8x squared plus 6x minus 5. 
So now where there is x, we're going to put this value of x, which we got here as a half. So we're going to have f of 1 over 2 is equal to 2, 1 over 2 cubed, plus 8, 1 over 2 squared, plus 6, 1 over 2, minus a 5. And then I'm going to take my calculator and punch that. So what do I have? I've got 2 multiplying 1 over 2. It is cubed plus 8 multiplying 1 over 2. Now in this case it is squared plus 6 multiplying 1 over 2 and then minus a 5. Now if you simplify that it is 1 over 4. So this gives us 1 over 4. Remember if you press SD 1 over 4 is equal to 0 0.25. So this is equal to 0 0.25. And if you still remember, this is the same answer that we got under the remainder of the long division, which was 0 0.25. So what am I saying? I'm saying there is a longer method that you can use. The longer method will still help you to get the remainder. But the important of the longer method, as you're going to see later, it is this top part that it allows you to get. So you need to know the long method because sometimes they need you to factorize and you need to get that top part, which is the quotient. Now, at the same time, the remainder can be found by using a short method. And in this short method, it's a matter of you equating 2x minus 1 equal to 0, finding the value of x. And then you take that value of x and equate it into f of x. So when you put it into f of x, then you can quickly get your answer. Now we have come to the end of our lesson. There, there are more problems on the remainder theorem. Keep checking them out and we'll be able to help you for your revision. Thank you. I reach out for my dreams. I reach out for my vision. I reach out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of